Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're starting out over here at spacenews.com. Big story about a big rocket that's coming back into the Earth's atmosphere uncontrolled. And this could be one of the largest ever. We're going to come back and take a closer look at the details of this re-entry that nobody at this point knows when where or what time this is going to occur. And like I mentioned, this is one of the biggest ever to make an uncontrolled re-entry to Earth's atmosphere. Pretty big deal. We're gonna take a look at the specifics here in just a moment. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. But first here at the website, quick look at the Schumann Resonance. You can see there's been a little bit of activity, large spike that lasted about an hour, hour and a half. Right now, the origins are unknown. What created that large spike as there's no solar activity with regard to solar flares or CMEs. We did have one that was anticipated for the 30th it did arrive it came and went so right now the origins of this energy as far as I can tell are unknown hopping over to the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano and you can see there are a ton of small earthquakes over here at Mammoth Vault that would be along the northern rim so to Butte that would be over in the northeastern rim area there's a large red spike that's from the 6.8 earthquake off the coast of Japan so we know what that one is but these dozens and dozens of smaller earthquakes that occupy the entire seismograph here not only on one but two of the graphs that is unprecedented I've never seen that many earthquakes on one seismograph at the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera I'm not saying there's anything big going on because obviously the earthquakes are very small but why so many that is a lot of earthquakes and and we can't always dismiss these as mechanical errors or mechanical glitches because not everything's a glitch. I mean, these instruments are, are good, reliable instruments. So got more activity here, and that one is also over here on the eastern side. That would be the northeast entrance. So a little bit of activity at the Yellowstone supervolcano. Nothing major, but nevertheless, anytime you have earthquakes at a supervolcano, it's definitely worth paying attention to. Want to go back to the story over here at spacenews.com. Article dated April 30th, yesterday of 2021. Talking about this huge rocket that ended up staying in low Earth orbit. This is a huge piece of equipment. This thing is seven times the size of a Falcon 9. And we had a Falcon 9 re-enter the atmosphere back in March. And here's a video that was shared with me by Shay from the Portland, Oregon area. And this one did re-enter the atmosphere slightly over land, right up there along the Pacific Northwestern coast. And it was visible from Seattle, from Portland, many, many areas. It was around 9 o'clock at night. And this is one of many, many videos that were taken of the debris field that came in associated with the Falcon 9. This thing is much, much bigger. Let me give you an idea of just how much bigger. Here it is right here. This is called a Long March 5B heavy lift rocket. This thing is 100 feet tall. That's as tall as a 10-story building. 16 feet wide. That's 5 meters wide. 23 tons, 46 thousand pounds. As far as an uncontrolled rocket re-entering the atmosphere, this would be the largest ever. And right now, there is no way of knowing when, where, or what time this will occur. The last one that I just showed you that occurred in March, it happened right up here in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. Nothing was damaged. It safely re-entered the atmosphere. This one here, it could possibly happen over water. I mean, there's a 70% chance it's going to occur over water 30 percent chance is going to occur over land and then if it does occur over land will it occur over a populated area like the recent falcon 9 did people got a a really good light show in the nighttime sky like i said it was early around nine o'clock people were out and about and there was a lot of really cool photos and videos that became of that incident this one here would put on an even bigger show if it does occur over land but there are safety issues involved with these things when you have one this large that is re entering uncontrolled if it were to occur over a major city and was not completely handled by the Earth's atmosphere, some of the components could make it to ground level. So hopefully that won't be the case. We'll have to wait and see. But a Long March 5 rocket is a very big 
big piece of equipment, and it's a heavy lift vehicle. It's designed to lift a lot of weight and put it into orbit. It did its job, but it was not supposed to go into orbit. Now that it did, it is uncontrollable. So this thing has been spotted tumbling through the atmosphere already, but it's in low Earth orbit. Gravity hasn't got a hold of it yet. So when that will happen, right now, nobody knows. But in the coming days, we could see another spectacular light show in either the nighttime sky or the daytime sky. Don't know. This one just happened to be in the nighttime sky. That's a Falcon 9 back in March of 2021, just a few weeks ago. So we'll have to wait and see. Keep your eyes to the skies. Could be a big show Coming soon, I wanted to share a picture with you that was shared with me by Amy out of San Antonio of the recent storms they had down there that, that produced the gorilla hail, the giant hail that fell from the sky. There was also some flash flooding in the area, as you can see here by her vehicle. And that looks like a creek over there, just absolutely overflowing. Thank you, Amy, for sharing. I'd also like to thank John for, for sharing the meteor with me. That was really cool. Thank you, John. I really appreciate that. I want to thank Karen for Mississippi for the nice card and I'd like to thank Sandra from Washington for all she does thank you Sandra and I want to thank you guys for everything that you do I really appreciate that now I've got a brand new picture slideshow new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world photos here sent in by Stephen out of Lone Pine California just a very bizarre cloud structure in the sky that, that had a hole in the center gotta admit if I'd have seen something like that in the sky I would have been taking pictures too got some color up here in the upper left hand part of that very bizarre cloud. Wendy out of the northern United Kingdom. Big jumbo halo in the sky around the sun. Get a load of that. That is an incredible photo. Winfield, Kansas. Skywatcher Kennedy. Also noticed some very bizarre clouds. More than likely influenced by wind. Like we see here, Christy out of Las Vegas. Noticed a massive orange cloud structure high up in the sky above Las Vegas. This photo here is unedited. Sent in by Eddie L. out of Grenada Hills, California. And he said to pay attention to the target sign over here on the left and you can see the sky is the same color as the target sign which is red as well incredible photos photo here sent in by Tom out of Bristol United Kingdom of a bright pink sunrise from the United Kingdom this is as the Sun got a little bit higher in the sky kind of turned orange and you can see some big trails up in the sky spanning from basically what looked like horizon to horizon Heath sent in this photo of some giant mammatus clouds very low to the ground. L. Lee out of Stillwater, Oklahoma. Beautiful golden orange sky. That would be a sunset from Oklahoma. Ralph B. out of San Jose, California. Spectacular double-decker rainbow. Looked like he could reach out and touch it. Jamie out of Darwin, Australia. Big gateway there. Looked like a portal in the sky. Polenta out of California. She said that looked like a volcano in the sky under the sun. This here, I'll leave it open to interpretation. As always, you guys decide. But that almost looks like a, a skull or something up there in the sky. She noticed that, took a photo, shared it with me, and I'm sharing it with you. She also sent in this video clip of the same sky. Got some very colorful clouds and some unique clouds in the proximity of the sun. Once again, the video. Video and photos sent in by Polenta out of California. This last video here was sent in by Vincent. Not exactly sure of the location, but he noticed something very weird in the sky. It's not an airplane because airplanes have multicolored lights, and this craft here has solid white lights. And you wouldn't think if it was some sort of a UFO, it would be out here broadcasting its presence with bright white lights. But irregardless, uh, typical airplanes have multicolored lights. They have white lights. They have amber lights and they have green lights. This one here is unique because all of the lights are white, so it's not a typical airplane, and it is indeed a strange craft. Good observation and video sent in by, by Vincent, and you can also see some smaller, what look like white orbs in the area of that unique object in the nighttime sky. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the sky phenomena photo gallery at the website and sometimes i'll use them in a video just like you saw right here thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there